let me continue the e-commerce website step by step so we have a category and products in order to do the program we need to make the relationship what is the relationship between category and products so one category has many products so one to many relationship we have to establish the relation between between one to many product uh, many one category has many products okay when many products mean the products products belongs to this one one category okay this category one category has many products right so what you're going to do is uh, you have to establish a relationship in the product which is a uh, belongs to so you have to write the category you have to write this function it's a product we have product model we have to create the function category it one is a uh, open and close bracket so here return this belongs to okay we have to put the belongs to okay so after that we have to go to the category so we have to do put it here this one the product right okay don't worry i'll be explaining right so here what i did here is i have created a function in the category so one category has many products so we have tried to create the simple if we, in order to make the relationship we have tried simple function products here this as many but sir, it is nothing but the one to many so you have right as many you are in the laravel you are called as as many right so what is the table we have to we have a we have a uh, relationship so the product table so you have right the product class the yeah, product class this is the prime uh, foreign key this is the foreign key of the product table so that we have the foreign key okay you no need to put it to the this primary in the primary key this is the category table primary key the same key which is available the product table this is a foreign key so you don't need to put it to the uh yes if, if you write like this 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 way also correct some other tutorial you have watch it this way was correct okay this primary key this is a foreign key you no need this one it automatically take care of the primary key okay so the product table category id okay so here no need okay it's automatically take of this side in the product table. okay so here what is the relationship one to many relationship as many so I mean this key which will be goes to here is a price is a foreign key okay in the category this is a one one category as many products we have got as many relationship okay so product table okay product is a product model you write the name is same name you write it over here it's a foreign key in order in in the in our product table many products belongs to one category so one many products belongs to one category so here to belongs to your title belongs to okay so many products belongs to which we have one category it's a category id category id means it's a foreign key you write the foreign key like this that's the thing the simple relationship we are making okay here we have tried the category as many one to many mean this is the one side so one side one category so you have tried a many you have used many so here many products so many products belongs to one category so you have used a one that's the thing you have to write it okay that's the thing you have to write it right so so that's the thing you have tried okay so right. right now what you are going to do is Right, so we have done the established relationship well. Now let's go to the controller section. So we have write the first. We have to add the first. We have to write that the same use. We have to write here. First, you have to connect with the model. Your model is reside and use app models. The model is product. So right click, rename, copy this sub product. Is a model which is a product right perfect you have to write the product right here we have to make the relationship after that we have to call the we are uh, model is resident where it is reside on our models you have to give the models here we have made the relationship the product right now first what you are going to see here you have to make the second one is a category also we need because we have to all together we have to get this one. category also we need model and category both are here getting right now out of that what you are going to receive here i'm going to make that simply you have to create a constructor 
that you have to make a constructor. Right. So you have to make a constructor over here. You can see here, you have to create the product, product that. This is the first you have to create the method, uh, sorry, a variable products. After create the simple constructor over here, the function construct. Okay, so open bracket and close bracket. We have to, this is a model path, this is a product. We have to call it to here. This works. That's it. That's the thing we have to need so far. I hope you have understood so far well. Okay, so here uh, we have gave the path over here. So we, why I we have created this constructor? We have view the data and create the data and edit the data update data we have to, this is the, this, this uh, model path we have to assign to this variable so we have to instead of calling this one if you are calling this one it, it should be work. it's simple now let's first you have to go to the function which is the index function right so the, this one function we have to implement that to load the product details so here i am going to work this code so you have at products you have to write products variable equal this product so we have this is a model okay you have to call this model we have to assign to this variable so you have to call this one okay products mean it's calling to what is the products you are added into your database table it is we are calling this one it's getting the product details via the model load all the product details and passing to this variable right after that, what you are going to do is, second one you can see, what I did here is, we have a categories variable because we have to in we have to join the two tables, category and products. Instead of displaying the category ID, we have to display the category name. So you have to write, we have to plug, we have to call the plug keyword. So here you can see, here we have a relationship, products and category. Here, this is the relationship, we have products and category so we have we already made the relationship so so your product table you can see the category id so when the when you view the products information instead of display the category id i need to display the category name so how to achieve this so you have to write it over here you have to write your create the variable categories equal this is a category model which is a category model so we have a category model path how to get it here you have to call the category path this this one your category path there is a method three different all which is a plug so we, if, uh, instead of displaying the category id we have to display the category name so here this is the primary key of the category table which is id so here this is a name so we have to load the category name over here and pass into here right so we have to pass it to here now what you are going to do is here we have to return the view to pages, pages, this is a pages folder, there is a folder which is inside the pages folder, there is a products folder, inside the product folder there is an index page, come back, we have to load both, this is the products, put it here, this is the category, so you have to load it here, okay, this is the value, this value, your key will be passing here, this is a key, so it's a come back, right? Okay, the plug mean instead of the ID, we have displayed the name. Right. So we have to go to the view page. So we have not not yet we have to create the page which is a category page. So we have to write here, sorry, product page. Uh, so we have to write new folder, we have to create the products page. Products page. We have to write the index dot blade dot php right. here the same the category page i just copied and paste over here so here right so here we have to make the changes okay. what are the changes you have to make it all things you have to need okay so right so what i did here is here now what i am going to do is here so let's go to i'll be explaining don't worry right so right so product page product page so these are the products table so i'll let i'll be explaining don't worry it will take too much of time to complete if i explain it okay so I'll just copy the same thing paste it over here right so what i did here is so you can see here 
so products table just this is the view part okay this is the products form okay this is a due tag is started due cost level is closing okay so after that we have to make the heading which is a products after that we have to create the columns which is the size should be eight okay so here we have to create the simple form right so form here's a crf token we have a, the form consists of product name category which is a category description product description price and image okay so the the migration table these are the teacher product name category id description price and photo okay so you can see the product these are the things the same thing we have created the view product view page so this is the form we have filled the form once the user coming to the page this is a form they should fill, fill to register the product so out the form the field product name this one should be the same name i have this is a product name so the here the product name so the same name have gave, gave okay this is how we have you have to create the same name then only the product will be added so here is the name product name first is second is a we have to give the not a input field we have to we have a drop down because we have to load the category details once you add the category details so once you one once you view the product page you will be able to view the category which this product is belongs to which category you will be able to select the category if it is a tv if you are imagine if you have a products like drinks which is a coca cola so here category you have to select as a drinks if it is a tv in the category you have to select as a tv okay so we have to the uh, what's the product you are writing the appropriate category uh, category also you will be able to select from the category drop down list so here i have passed the list over here or a category description product description price and you, have, you will be able to select the product image right so these are these are called as input fields right so here uh, this one i'll be explaining later on how to load i already uh, here you have made it so i'll be explaining in my next tutorial so how to get them okay right so you have to first you have to understand the things the form the form consists of product name category description price and images so these are called as input field description in, uh, input field you instead of the input field you have to write description as a text area it, it would be fine okay if you have a more de description about the product you have to put instead of the input field you have to put it as a uh, text area it would be more efficient way to uh, write the program so, okay so here in, in 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 my example this is short description so i need uh, the input field is enough for for me right so after that the price we have an input field okay so input field if you want to make this one as text as a number it would be fine okay so here i will keep here as a text it would be fine it's no problem right so if you want you can make it as number this one okay so uh, the uh, once a user enters some uh, the price once the user enter the some characters it won't accept it only the numbers accept it you can put it as a number right right okay here this one is an image you will be able to select the image image you have to write as a type as a this is not a type not text here you have to write as a file okay we have a file you have to type the file okay you have to browse the image right okay this name you have to put so which consists of one registration Okay, so just keep in your mind these are the fields right uh thank you for watching i will be keep touching this video in my, my next video thank you